Go get your man. And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Pop up that cut, bro, try and hit an ass We gon' have to kill for any disrespect RPs be ripping when they in the flash Why you kill me out? I ain't finished yet uh, Running up them racky, just get bro a check I'ma bring you back some money, just got way to sack You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you You know who I be, follow me on IG Vada underscore fly Tell your mama I said hi, I know there's a lot of artists out there Who be trying to get their videos at the beginning of mine, hit me up on Instagram. I'll let you know the procedure. Yes, it does cost. It's not free. You see what this look is? This look right here is not free. I had to earn this look. We had to do 30 million. We had to get all of these subscribers. You want to get played, you got to pay. Like, it is what it is. I wouldn't even put, you know what I'm saying, my, 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 my fucking co-workers video on my shit for nothing. For nothing? Man, I got kids, man. I'll probably I'll put my video up for nothing, but I earned the way here. Um, somebody else who's earned their way here is Kid Slade. Salute to Kid Slade, CT, the Big Seven, respectfully. I've been watching him, like a lot of his battles since he came on, when he was in the tournaments, when he battled against uh, MVP, when he had the all Brooklyn shit on, you know, that was my, that, that's my vibe, right? I seen that, I was like, yo, who is this? Let me see who this nigga is, you know what I'm saying? And he was putting it down then, and he battled Big T, he battled Ryder, uh, and his app record is undefeated. I think he's like 8-0 eight eight and or 9-0, and oh, probably be 10-0. Oh. He's running them through. Now, there are people like Easy the Black Captain who's been talking about him. Easy said, like, all the people that Kid Slay have battled so far is just mid tiers, like mid niggas. He ain't battled no big niggas yet. And theoretically speaking, look at his resume. No, his next battle, his next battle is tough. I ain't putting no names out there, but I'm just going to say it's tough. I know. You know that I know that we know. It's tough. The toughest one he's had so far. By far, you can combine all the other shits, this one is probably more important. Now, I say that to say this. I see you are also looking for new superstars, right? And I do have a conversation, uh, it's a piece of one, that I guess there was, there was a Spaces earlier. I seen it on Let's Talk Battle Rap. I don't be in space, I really don't have the time. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna edit this up and I'm going to work. I don't have the hours. But I do see when Let's Talk Battle Rap, or somebody sends me a clip, and I always give you know credit to what they doing. Salute to Let's Talk Battle Rap. And he's going off. He is not, like, he don't like the shit. Because Verb been doing this shit for a bunch of years. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, check this. Let me out, yo. This nigga, all right. Couple days before the event happened, he got a space. He got my brother Stumbles in the space. My brother Stumbles is in the space. He's telling Stumbles, yo, that Irvin Plaza crowd is this, this, and that. You ain't gonna do this. You gonna open the night. Be ready for this. Be ready for that. And then he telling the world, if Stumbles do what he gotta do, mark my words, if he do what he gotta do in Urban Plaza, a star will be born that night. Try, I, I swear, I promise you it's on YouTube. A star will be born that night. All he gotta do is do what he gotta do. That's it. I know what I see. I got the eye. I see. I know what I see. The tables turn. <laughs> The tables turned around. I I did what he thought Stumbles was going to do, and now every opening act that ever been on every every URL card was easy, and that's what everybody does. Everybody that ever opened a URL card did what I just did. Everybody ever, according to Verb, there's never been an opening act that wasn't as electric as I was. So what I did was not special, according to Verb. Niggas think I want validation from him. I don't. I'm just calling him on this corny ass goalpost moving he doing, bro. And then on another note, the nigga gonna say he called himself God body. He called himself this and he talk about selling drugs. Yo, if you hate me for calling myself God for selling drugs, you must hate Goatface and Rakim. You hate them niggas to death. You must hate Goatface and Raekwon. Pardon me. You hate them niggas. You hate the whole Wu-Tang. According to your logic, Vert, you don't like nobody from the Wu. You don't like you don't like Cormega. You don't like Nas. You don't like Hov. You see them seven hats of celebrities wear? That seven is for God. You don't know what you're looking at? You corny ass nigga. What you think that seven stand for on all these celebrities' fittings? Niggas is God. Nigga, you yo, this nigga is so corny. 
and y'all let this shit happen. Y'all get in the spaces and listen and let this nigga do this. And then Big T sitting there like a fat ass cheerleader, um, um, clapping like a fucking walrus. Why he telling them no URL vet, no important URL rap rapper has ever opened the card and ever been on the bottom of the card. Big T sitting next to him. You right? You right for getting that you was just on the bottom of the card battling me. And you got 30. And you letting them talk to you like that. You just sitting here letting them call you a piece of shit. How you ain't nothing. And only the worst of the worst open the card. You sitting there. Um, um, you right, bird. Um, um, like a fat ass walrus. This nigga got a bunch of verbivores behind him. Nigga eating too much fucking grass and, and fried portobello mushroom skins. Go eat a fucking burger or something, nigga. Nigga corny as hell. The fuck is this weird ass nigga on? Niggas got to stop letting home do this weird shit. Call him on this shit. Big T, you really sitting there like geeking and laughing while he just, your home really putting this nigga down right to his face. Yes, can I have a large peach refresher? Um, A large French vanilla light and sweet and a coffee roll. This nigga weird. Let me get my breakfast together. <laughs> That's all. All right, thank you. Man, this weird ass nigga, man, what the fuck? What you want, bro? And no, I'm not ordering a grass smoothie, you weird ass nigga. <laughs> nigga was on stage versus K Shine looking like a, a fucking offensive lineman off NFL streets with that stupid ass box and that dumb ass body. You was up there looking like a fool, nigga. You got dog walk in front of everybody. You weird ass. This nigga weird as hell. This nigga hate women because he wants a pussy. Hell, he want a pussy, bro. He want to rub his clit bad as hell. That's why he hate this nigga corny as fuck, bro. Stop letting this the corny ass nigga get a pass, man. For real, yo. Stop, bro. Home, get Yo, Big T sat there and let him call him the trash of the trash of URL. Because don't nobody with no relevance open no cards. And he's sitting there, yes, man, and clapping, shaking his titties, not realizing, nigga, you just got your ass whooped on the bottom of a card to the same nigga he's talking about. So, Verb, what he do, that's his, this is his thing. He'll troll, you know what I'm saying? He'll talk about whether it be new MC. He do it with every class, like damn near every class since Ab and Mike P and all of them. Verb has always done this. Whether he's been winning, whether he's been losing, I know his app record is like the Lakers right now. It might be worse. I think he's like one and eight or one and nine or something like that. But uh, he been doing this for a while. He always talk heavy. He always talk shit. Uh, I seen him in um, A Ward going back and forth yesterday, and I was actually gonna make a blog about that. But when I heard this audio, it was actually a little bit more telling. And um, you know, I'll, I'll read what Verb was saying to Ward. You don't play on a high level. The highest level is URL. What level are you on? You're making up. You're making up in your mind. So, uh, Abel was saying, "Man, all I do is bust my tail, show up, compete at the highest level, rep for the Midwest, go on the road at every time, get crazy." And St. Louis legend himself got all negative stuff to say. Sad at a um, island god. Next time, keep your handshakes to yourself, or like keep your handshakes to yourself next time. Now, like I said. Verb is the ultimate antagonist, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what he does. How do you think, like, even when he's not relevant, he remains relevant? He keeps getting battles. He keeps being booked. They keep put like, besides what he can do, the fact that they know he's going to sell a fight, he could promote, even if it's negative, even if he's talking shit about you. He just battled Kid Slade, and somehow or another, Verb had to film the battle three times. That's what Kid Slade was saying in the interview the other day. It was three Letterman. Shout out to him. But there's veterans who, or in different scenarios, that would be like, no, he choked, fuck him. I want my money and I'm leaving. I'm not going to record, re-record nothing. But Verb has a way, and then the battle got re-recorded more than once. And on the re-recorded versions, there a lot of people started giving him the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen it. Like, I don't even know how the, how the numbers is on the app. I'll check the app right now for all things considered. And then I'll get into it the final with this Kid Slade shit. Cause Kid Slade is one of them niggas that's not going. Like he's not going. Like you think that you're gonna just talk to him crazy or gonna be able to like roll over him. He's not going. And look, see so what happened is, okay, um, oh, I was looking at the wrong battle. Um, 
So Ken Slade is not going. Like, you think he is, but he's just not going to be the one. Like, he don't give a fuck. He's going to stand on his own, too. He's going to talk his shit. And his biggest issue was the fact that Verb gave so much love and so much admiration to um, Stumble, saying that Stumble's do what he's supposed to do, a new star is going to be born, and whoop-de-whoop-de-whoop. -whoop -whoop. And now that that star that was born or what, what happened wasn't, was not the person that you... And I know this is a hard game. Just like, like, I know. Trust me. I know it's a hard game to, you can pick somebody, you want them to win, then they don't win, and you gotta walk back down your comment, or you know what I'm saying, like that shit don't be easy. And Kid Slave respectfully is 8-0 on the URL app. His battle is a real name, Brandon, MVP, Big T, Tycoon Christ, Casino, Slade, versus Bad, well, Bad News, DG the Piranha, and Ryder. So like I said, his career is just starting. He don't have a lot of the big names and shit yet. And there's nothing wrong with that because everybody has to start somewhere. But when I tell you that the nigga, the, the kid got skills, I think he nice. I think he dead nice. Because the same shit that we be liking from other people, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. He, he do a lot of the fucking plug talk, the drug bars, et cetera, et cetera. It's something that we've been on for quite some time. Uh, I did the Verb versus Chaos drop on the app? I don't know if it dropped on the app yet. I was looking for it, but I seen it. Whatever. I did see it. Period. Um, I was looking for it on the app. I didn't see it, though, when I was just looking right now. So, uh, check one more thing real quick. So, Kid Slade, he got skills. He is going to be... I said the other day, I was like, yo, when he was battling against um, Stumbles and... Uh, um, in the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the homecoming joint, I said, yo, he's really making himself that next guy who's going to get booked. You're going to see him. You will see Kid Slade in 2023. I promise you. Once a nigga gets cooking like that, they going to continue to put him on motherfucking stages. He going to continue to get looks. He's going to continue to get seen. Um, and then he had a lot to say about Big T, too, because I don't he's saying that Verb was smoking him. Basically saying the opening act niggas, the first niggas on the card, don't got to work hard. I don't believe that because I've seen some people come out being first on the card and go crazy. And I've seen some people come out first on the card and get their fucking boot smoke. So the crowd, it, they, like the niggas don't give a fuck if you first, if you last, whatever the case may be. Um, Verb also said by a -Ward, I'm sick and tired of y'all defending a -Ward, Make him fight like everyone else. You come through here, you bleed, you fight, you become a king like everyone else has. No skipping the line. I do not give credit to no one who hasn't bled, bro. You, can, you can't say he, you can sit there. He said you, can, you can't say he can sit here. He can sit over there, but not over here. Basically saying that um, a lot of a -Ward's battles and what he's done only counts on the other leagues that he battles on. And, you know, he hasn't done it on URL. The only reason why A-Ward why a has not done it on URL, per what I know and what I've heard, is because they can't come to terms in the contract. They want A-Ward to be on, like, a standard contract that says you will battle here for this amount of years. a -Ward's already vocalized. There's no guaranteed money. There's no guaranteed opponents. There's no guaranteed situation. The only thing I'm doing is cutting off my left hand to save my right. But there's nothing that you're not giving me anything solid. Like, I can't take a contract the same way that you would book somebody out of the crucible, you know what I'm saying? Like their contract probably will be a little bit different because they gotta earn. A Ward's already beat a lot of the MCs on URL. I understand it was on off leagues, but it already happened. And he beat a lot of big names. He's beat Geechee Gotti. Some say twice. Had a debatable with Rum Nitty, like he shouldn't be coming in signing no plain Jane standard level contracts. But that's another story for another day. What I do know. This kid Slade ain't going. And I'm glad he ain't going. Stand on your two. You had a phenomenal. Don't let nobody take nothing away from what you did on Sunday. You went off. Sound like cat scratching. What you gonna do when you call your mom and we pick up like nah nigga. Them shits was fire. Stumbles, a lot of people had confidence in him. I never really did though. I mean I subscribed to him after the Snake Eyes battle, but I hadn't saw enough high level material to make me go like Wow, this nigga needs to be on Summer Madness. Like, I just didn't see it, you know what I mean? Like, and I ain't hating on him, I got no reason to hate on him. I know the belt was an antic, I know the fight was an antic, shit like that, and that kind of, that kind of like sped him up, you know what I'm saying, and got him to these big battles, him versus Suge. I had Suge winning every round. But, you put him in a position that he ain't really get to that quick, and this is the result, this is the prime result of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoever pushed that shit 
It didn't work. I understand niggas is trying to build stars because you can book 80 of these niggas for the cost of what it costs goods or what it costs cow. You can book fucking whole car to these niggas. So it's imperative to get them hot quick. But at the same time, he was not ready. And he keeps choking, stumbling, slipping and blipping over his material. And it ain't just this battle. It's damn near all of them. You know what I'm saying? When he has a perfect battle where he doesn't slip or doesn't choke, the very few have been good. But... At this level, it's not going to happen because you're going to put them against better competition. That better competition is going to do. <laughs> if you know, nigga, if you know what you know, what you know. So I do think he has talent. I do think you can work with him, but you got to slow the nigga down to have him battle people on his level. We've been doing this shit way too long. I've been doing this shit for years. You think I can't see when a nigga's being like, come on, son. We see this shit from down the street and around the corner. Summer Madness, P, like you wildin' for that shit. Whoever okayed that is wildin'. But anyway, Slade, that nigga got some smoke. And. You know, Verb kind of moved the goalpost in this. You can't say one nigga's gonna be a star, then when the next nigga shows up, has a phenomenal performance, you're gonna shit on him and be like, oh yeah, it's just a standard. You was, he was fucking warming up the stage. And I seen some niggas warm up the stage and get booed the fuck out of there. I've seen that before too. So it's two sides of a coin. Can't be the first act, the first battle is always some, some, some white niggas. No, it ain't. A lot of the times, yes. But this is what Verb does to stay relevant, even when he's not relevant. He don't have to win no battles on the app, but he can still get any one of the new niggas. Pick him out, pick him out, boom, 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 boom. I take you in January, I take you in March, I take you in June, I take you in December. And that's how he gets paid. He gonna get paid. He get paid more than the niggas he talk about. What y'all think, man? Kid Slade standing on the square defending his own. Salute to every single one of y'all watching this content, whether religiously or passing. You niggas know what it is. Gang, gang.